I'm over here on the uh, new farm and I got a friend of mine he's got one of these big uh, mulchers for a skid steer and uh, I hired him to come down here and it was just taking me too long to come in here with the, the mini and and get all the brush out so I had him come in here we kind of walked it and flagged where the fence line's gonna go and he's gonna he's coming here and, and mulching down all the small stuff uh, six inches and smaller to kind of figure out where I'm gonna be able to run my fence line and then I can come in here with the excavator and just take down whichever random tree I need to take down to get enough room in here. So it's uh it's come along pretty good. Let's go uh I think I hear them down there working. Let's go check it out. He's been busy down here. Got me a nice little trail through the woods. So this was literally so grown up about impossible to walk through here but we did it I like this I can now I can come in here and figure out what I need to do to be able to get my fence through here but I mean it looked just like that got it most down good it's got all this underbrush out where I can get back in here now and see what I got He's got a uh, Takuchi skid steer like mine, but it's high flow. So I'm gonna end up getting my feelings hurt and probably want a high flow machine now. But I don't know, I could hire him for a day and he did everything I wanted to do and I don't have to buy a $100,000 machine.
was interested in seeing what the ruckus rake would do on a high flow machine so once it got done mulching we dropped the mulcher head put on the ruckus rake and uh i made a couple passes and let's just say the ruckus rake it uh spins a little bit faster with a high flow machine so i'm gonna let john here hold the camera and uh i'm gonna make a few passes and it kicks it on out pretty good now You like that? <laughs> uh, I do like it. I just don't know if I like it that much. Yeah. Well, if they'll give me a price I can't refuse on my machine, they probably will. They probably would. They uh, will. It's probably worth just as much as what I paid for it now. They so. are. You can't get them. I've waited on this one since March the third. From March? March the third. Oh. I paid for it March the third. Well, yeah. we'll have to worry about that another day. Well, I'm doing a little more raking with the old ruckus rake here. Been at it for about 30 minutes here and got a good little section of the field prepped. Just wind rolling it all up. I'm actually going to rake for about another 10 or 15 minutes and uh, jump on the loader. Doggone pigweed starting to come back, but it seems like all that's kind of under control. I drilled some millet in the ground, but we've had a cold spell and I don't think it's come up yet. 
but uh i'm gonna jump on the loader here in a minute and run down here actually all this drains this way and we got a fair amount of rain coming tomorrow it's gonna pull up pretty bad so i'm gonna take the loader and at least skim this up right here and put it into a pile all the uh rocks and a little bit of weeds that are left out here but it's leveling it up really nicely like i said for 30 minutes running over that it really did uh take all the ruts out the field and get whatever rocks i could i mean like i've shown before it's just a lot of surface rocks out here and if i can make two passes over it and get all those out of it i think that's well worth the couple hours it's going to take to do so shaping up About an hour is all I care to be in a skid steer anymore. Let's get in a big skid steer, clean up some piles of dirt. So I gotta take my bucket off, check the oil in it. It's been a couple weeks since I've used the old girl. Check that out. No more baling wire holding the door shut. Brand new latch. It was good till I got the bill for that thing. The doggone latch was $400. But you know what? It works good. I don't have to sit there and untwist a piece of wire, so I suppose it's worth it. She's good. Actually, she's a touch full. It's been a touch full since I've had it, so I guess I guess it doesn't use any or doesn't make any. I need to service it here for long. Diddy, diddy, do. It's kind of an aggravating spot for the dipstick. All right. Let's take the bucket off and fire it up.
most of that windrow taken up. There's probably 50 feet of it left. Uh, I'll get a couple more scoops next time I rake some more up and probably end up taking it down there. But I got a good little pile of dirt and rocks to fill in some stump holes with in the woods. But for right now, calling it a day. Well, I've been at it for about an hour and a half this afternoon, evening, watching the sun go down again. I'll be glad when it gets behind the trees, it's kind of like straight in your face as you're trying to rake this way but i kind of wanted to rake all this stuff into the windrow when i did that side over there i've probably done oh three and a half acres today i would say but this is doing exactly what i wanted to and as you saw i kind of raked where i'd cleared over there and uh, i'm gonna go jump on the loader now and come down here and finish cleaning up this windrow and get it all piled up. This is the end where there's a lot of rocks. So I want to get all this stuff pushed up and then I can kind of really rake through right here and get as many rocks as possible out. So I don't know what happened. I drilled in some millet, but this half of the field does not look very good. It come up really good over there, but something must have got clogged up right here. Let's walk over there and check how it came up over there. It came up over here. It's just, I mean, you can see the rows of it. Either the germination rate is not great or the uh, drill was not putting it out just right. You know, the seed's so small, it's hard to see how evenly it's coming out. That rain washed all those little rocks off, didn't it? Now that I can see, now that it rained, let's walk over here. Let's see, I just ran over this once to get the big rocks out god there's still a lot of little gravel <laughs> but look right here it got a lot of them out that is just a giant pile of rocks right there let those weeds die down and spread that out and just leave that as my base for the road to go around here that's my plan those weeds will rot down pretty quick and i can just kind of spread that out and looky there i've already added three inches of base rock to my road farm's coming along though i just need more time that's not too bad for one pass going forwards that was a good one there look at all those rocks relatively no dirt and i'm getting all the sticks out that i couldn't get out with the uh track loader I'll set the camera up, you can watch a couple passes.
So I've had a couple people ask me uh, about the AMI ruckus rake. Can you tilt and or angle it while the drum is spinning? And the answer is correct. On this version right here, this is the newest version they have, uh, which allows you to adjust the angle or the tilt of the rake while you are using it. Therefore, you do not have to stop the drum to readjust everything. So pretty much as you're grading, if you need to grade a swell or whatever, you can just kind of hit there, sit there and uh, hit the tilt left or right and uh, just kind of tilt it towards the contour and not have to stop the drum from spinning to adjust it to the angle you want. Same as the uh, angle. If you're going and you want to say, create your wind row going that way, you'll just have it straight and you'll just hit the button as the drum's spinning and it'll just angle either left or right and you can just kind of row everything to one side. And it does have these nice little wings right here to kind of help hold all the material in front of the drum that way you don't end up with a lot of stuff running over the side and all in all gives you a whole lot cleaner product
Another end to a peaceful evening on the farm. So I managed to get all of that raked with the ruckus rake and a little bit over there. And then I was able to have enough time to jump on the loader and clean up that windrow. I'm going to take on the way out and make a couple passes. And uh, that's going to be it for today. Now all I have is that little section right there left. And uh, hopefully one day I'll go ahead and burn that pile and then focus on clearing up those trees over there and taking the bigger ones down along the property line that need to come down so that's a wrap for today